again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at the Stradzwagen 74A2 the tier 6 medium premium tank on the hybrid nation line Steve has been to the gym he's had a bit of a buff but before we get into all that what does Steve look like well this is Steve in all his glory now Steve came out in the game quite a long time ago it's actually a Swedish tank but because we haven't got a Swedish line it sits in the hybrid nation and as you can see Steve doesn't have much clothing he has zero armor to be fair well that's not true he does have a little bit of armor and he does bounce every now and then but wargaming in their infinite wisdom decided that steve needed to go to a gym because as you can see there's not much to him so steve was you know looking as he was before 6.2 hit our glorious shores and now he's had well steroids really however i mean we'll get to that in a moment so the damage on steve at the moment is 160 per round and you get three rounds in the magazine rate of fire is 12 rounds a minute penetration's not too bad 142 armor that's nah, pretty pumped speed's not too bad 30 kilometers rotation that's nah, not too bad either when we look at the detail stats hit points well steve hasn't got any really 950 and that armor is pretty weak 76 76 oh, don't even bother going through it view range 286 meters concealment just below average but not that bad considering rate of fire wow you're going to get dpm of 1930 with a magazine reload and time just shy of 12 seconds which isn't too bad considering the shell reload time is just about wow it's one and a half seconds and there are three shells in the magazine your average penetration isn't too bad 142 on your ap 189 on your apcr 42 on your he not that it really means anything average damage 160 on your ap 135 apcr and 200 on your he aim time three and a half seconds depression and miserly six degrees top speed well it says it 45 but you're going to average about 30. so all in all what is so great to talk about well the buff revolves around the gun now steve had a rate of fire of just over nine and a half shells a minute he's now got a rate of fire of 11 Point six shells a minute that's quite a big increase that's an extra two shells guys magazine reloading time on Steve used to be 14.4 seconds realistically it's now 12.4 that is a significant drop the time before the next shell was ready i.e. the loading between the clip inside the magazine used to be two seconds it's now one and a half again that is pretty significant aim time used to be 2.2 it's now two another huge drop dispersion however is uh, is changed as well from zero from 0 0.384 to 0 0.364 these are all great things to happen to steve now your dispersion on your dpm on your standard ap used to be 1567 it is now 1862 on your apcr it used to be 1322 and it's now 1571 and your he used to be 1958 it's now 2328 so steve has been to the gym and he's had a significant buff not with regards to the armor not with regard to his engine everything revolves around the gun and this is the thing with good old steve his gun used to be pretty pants and i mean don't get me wrong he's still lacking in muscle tone and uh, you know he's still incredibly vulnerable but look at this gun now i mean this is fantastic the rate of fire is just amazing and you don't steve is no longer a tank that you laugh at it's a consideration now i mean the amount of dpm this little thing now has is a significant improvement to what he used to be 
not saying he's still a great tank. He was never a great tank, to be honest with you. But he's an interesting tank. And it's nice that Wargaming have revisited poor old Steve and said, you know what, it's time you got a makeover. And boy, what a makeover it is. I mean, it's fantastic. These changes that have been made makes this tank completely different to the tank it was prior to the update. They may seem like little tinkers, but it's not. These are not slight tinkerings. These are significant buffs, guys. It is now a different tank. It is now much more formidable than what it used to be. So I'm now going to show you two games. Uh, one by me and one by a good friend of mine, Kill Warrior Destroyer of the Clan Albacy. First off, this is my game. Now, I went out in Steve earlier today. I think I played about five battles. For the life of me, I couldn't get the ace. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm not going to be showing you an ace that I did. But I got a first class, and I was very impressed with the first class I've got. As you can see here, we're on canal. I'm the bottom tier tank. We've got some significant opposition. It's a supremacy game, so I know they're at the A cap, and probably at the B cap. They've already capped them out. Nobody's over here at D apart from that VK. Not interested in him. Somebody else can take him out. I am now going to cap D and get into a good position. Problem that Steve has, he still hasn't learned to look down his nose correctly. His gun depression is still pretty poor. Six degrees, well, it's not great, guys. You can just about poke your nose over this hill. And I mean just about. You're still going to be spotted. But with the new aim time and with the new reloads, you can really make a difference. So here we go. Boom. And again. Boom. And a third time, maybe. Boom. Wow. That's just over 500 damage in one magazine. This is what new Steve is all about. He's all about getting those rounds down that range and causing absolute mayhem. I'm still not a massive fan of this tank other than for its uniqueness, mainly because it still lacks for a medium in that armor. Now, you know, Wargaming may have stayed true to life, I don't know. But the lack of armor does let Steve down a lot. Don't get me wrong, you will bounce every now and then. If you're lucky, it's more chance than judgment. But I do like the changes they've made to the gun. They are pretty cool. And if you keep Steve away from the front line, like you, like I'm doing here, you know, you can give tanks like this Black Prince a bit of a hard time. And, you know, I've done 1,739 damage now. I've taken a kill. And I've only emptied, I think, two magazines. Now I'm going to empty, probably try to empty a third magazine. There we go. Bang, and bang, and bang again. So now I've done 2,217 damage. I've unloaded four magazines. This is just fantastic stuff nowadays for Steve. He never used to be able to do this. He used to struggle to get this type of damage out this quickly. And that's what these buffs have done. They've taken an ugly duckling, not made it into a swan, but it's almost, it's going in the right direction. It's no longer so ugly. You know, it has potential. Give it a little, it should have had a little minor buff on its armor. Not much, just a little bit, little teaser. And it would have been, you know, fantastic. I mean, the thing is, it now has the third best DPM of all the mediums at tier six. It has the best view range of all the mediums at tier six. And regardless of the burst damage, etc., etc., it's pretty middle of the road average compared to the other mediums. Okay, so its depression is still laying it down because the depression is still the worst of all the tier six mediums. And as you see there, 2,556 damage and we get a nice first class. This is the last game. This is a good friend of mine. This is Kill, Warrior, Destroyer, 
of the Clan Albacy, rolling out in Steve earlier today here on Middleburg. Now the thing was, I put on my Discord earlier, if anybody's got any decent replays of Steve since the update, I would be really like to get them. And I got this from my good friend and subscriber, Kill Warrior Destroyer. <laughs> and, you know, I thought that was fantastic. And then I looked at the game and I thought it was even more fantastic. So let's watch the new improved Steve rolling out in the hands of Kill Warrior Destroyer here on Middleburg. As you can see, he's already lost a shed load of hit points. But, like I said, the improvements in the buff do not belong to Steve's armor. They belong purely to his gun. And this is where he now shines. So here we go. Boom. And he's gone. 512 and first kill. Okay, he's only got 251 HP left. But that's not a problem, realistically. He's in a good position here. I mean, look at that. Tiger P. Hello, Tiger P. 147. Followed by another 400. Oh, 461. I'm now up to 973. And uncharacteristically, I bounced 180. Well done, Steve. Your time at the gym is paid off. Keep taking the whey protein. That's what I say. Because you need a bit of armor, mate. You need to get some muscle. You're not quite Captain America Steve Rogers thing, are you? Come on. Wow. 1,369 now. Kill number two. And that reload is just fantastic. A lot better than what it used to be. And, you know, it really does help you focus. And it helps Steve enjoy the game a lot more. And it helps you enjoy Steve a lot more, if you're that way inclined. So, he's now up, he's, he's still only on 1,600, but he's having a good time, he's still got 251 hit points, he's still, you know, in a dodgy situation here, but there are only three tacks left, here we go, T-34, now you've got, take down that TD, 2,141, now he's asking for assistance, but will he load in time and out DPM him? He should do, oh, that was a big miss by the WZ. Oh, sorry, by the T-34, he's gone. 2,284 damage. Scrub that. 2,447 damage. Scrub that. 2,617 damage. Oh my god, I can't keep up. And this is where Steve's buffs really do shine. Just the Tiger P left. Can he get that hatch? Yes, he can. 2,692. Five kills. 24 hit points left and he gets a well deserved mastery well done kill warrior destroyer you did something that i couldn't do earlier today and look at all those credits wow 35,856 hmm thank you kill warrior destroyer for kindly sharing your replay it was fantastic albeit slightly envious to watch you get your ace guys that has been the new and improved steve AKA the Stridswagen 74A2, the little tier 6 auto loader that everybody should love a little bit. I've been Fujit. I hope that's been enjoyable. By all means, comment and all the other stuff below. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. It's a lovely thing to do. Puts a smile on my face. Costs you nothing in real terms. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitzgmail.com. Join my Discord server. You can load the replays easier there. Or you can even follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And until the next time, guys, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. Having fun fun and being happy.